right, good morning everyone, good afternoon. I am currently editing a video. It is, uh, it's only 8.30 in the morning. I got my morning breakfast here, which consists of, just making noises, consists of nothing but a LaCroix. Um, people have asked to see more of Salsa, so today's gonna be a daily vlog, but we're heading to the vet here in an hour. So, or we'll actually have an appointment in an hour. So we'll see what happens with that, but it's going to be a daily vlog. Let's catch up with everything. Uh, I do have to get to the scrapyard. I got to take some non-ferrous metals as well as clean out some of the stuff that's in my barn. Um, I would love to take this lawnmower, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it today. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens today. It should be a fun day. First stop, I think, is the vet after I finish editing this video. What do you say, Salsa? You want to go to the vet? You want to go to the vet? The vet? Do you want to go to the vet? I don't think she knows that word. To the vet. You want to go to the vet? She doesn't know. All right. I wonder if she knows. Like, she has to know. Like, she doesn't do this. I'm going to start crying here in a second, I bet. Get up there. Get up there. Come on. Okay, fine. I'll help you. Oh. Not the young pup that you once were. All right, sit down. All right, watch your head. She's got a nice little mat there. Has her name on it. What a dog. The life of owning a dog. Now, before people say anything about the dog should sit up front, dog sit in the back, should be gated, should be do this, she's fine. Except for the fact that she cries the entire way. It's all right, Salsa. All right, all right. I literally just parked and she's going crazy. That's exactly, like this entire ride was literally just listening to that, so. Um, yeah, you guys probably asked me a lot about why Salsa doesn't go on, like, trash picking adventures. I'd probably have to listen to that for the entire trash picking adventure. And I feel like that wouldn't be safe for everyone else on the road. A poodle. A poodle has no business being a part of this. Jeez. I can still. Nope. All right. Wow, that was uh, quite the adventure. She's all worked up. Everything turned out good, so that's great. Uh, on to the next, uh, next, I don't know what. Oh, I got to go to a scrapyard at some point. Got to see about that mower I have. Man, there's a lot of things that need to be done, and it's like 11 o'clock. It's also bidding on some storage units. I got to see if I'm still weighing those. All right. Well, I made it back home. That thing right there, we'll have to go to the scrapyard. I've had it forever, and you can see all the droppings on the top. Uh, that has to go to the scrapyard. But guess what? This entire pile that was right here, that was all my garbage and things to go through, mattresses, couches, uh, cushions. That was all the stuff I had to go through for uh, flea market and eBay. It came out of those storage units. It's all gone. Everything out of those storage units is finally gone, but this one Elmo. Um, so yeah, that was really exciting. Finally got all that garbage out, so now I can buy more storage units. Next issue is I think it's time we get rid of this, uh, this tractor. This tractor has never run in my entire life, um, and I'm pretty sure it's about time it goes. I just don't know how I'm going to move it. See if I can even push it. If it's pushable... I can probably push it onto ramps into my van. That did not move one inch. All right, it's pushable, somewhat. This is where if I had a forklift, it'd be so much easier. I can probably just lift the thing up and put it into my van. Instead, I'm probably going to struggle with this for I don't know how long. 
So I did a little bit of research on this tractor. It looks like there's only been like six parts or pieces that have sold on eBay. Uh, I was thinking about even parting it out, uh, which probably is definitely more profitable. Um, but I'm not very familiar with all the parts of a lawnmower. However, if I really wanted to part this thing out, I can probably take apart every single piece. And someone out there probably needs at least one piece off this lawnmower. I think it is a 1974 Gilson. It is marked G16. But I'm literally saying like... You can probably take the seat off, sell the seat. You can probably take the steering wheel off, which I don't know if this is the original, sell that. Take the key out, sell one of those. Wonder if I even just, doesn't start. Man, this thing was a thing before it's time. It is in, why is it in fourth gear? Is there a neutral? There's a reverse, I don't see a neutral. Not in third gear. Unless it isn't neutral. That's probably, I don't know what that is. This is probably for your speed, yeah. Wow, look at that. Slower, faster. Some of these old tractors use a rabbit and a turtle. That one just says slower and faster. Wow, this is vintage. But that will be a project for another day, I think. I'm so excited though, all my stuff is gone. So now I can buy more storage units and then go through that stuff. But I did want to bring that over there and grab some of this other metal that I need to throw out. So this piece right here is actually the back cover. I remember this. It's a cool looking logo, but uh, it's, uh, it's due its time. So this would go on the back of one of those machines that you can suck up leaves or grass. It goes on the back of your uh, your mower, almost like a trailer. And uh, this would be the cover for the trailer, the back plate. I got rid of the trailer probably three years ago or two years ago when the middle of COVID was. I had to do some cleaning up around the place. Um, but I never got rid of this. I don't know why, probably because it was just not with the trailer. So this literally has no purpose for me other than it kind of looks kind of cool. But uh, it's literally just the back to a trailer. It's just the end cap for it. Uh, but yeah, the leaves and the, whatever you use, it would attach to your mower and it would shoot the leaves all the way back into the trailer. And uh, it would be stuck in that trailer and then you open up this, this door and uh, you kind of just dump everything out by hand. You shovel it out. So if you want to put your leaves or your mulch or whatever somewhere else rather than just all over your yard, it was a very nice way to kind of get rid of stuff and clean stuff up. But uh, it was used great for if the grass is wet. You never want to leave wet grass laying around. However, I have no purpose for it, so it's going to get scrapped. Although this box fan has been my family for quite some time, I don't know if I trust using it. And at the same time, I'm pretty sure I'll find another one to trash. This one's pretty dirty. So this is going to get scrapped also. Great day to do some and clean it up. At some point, I will have to go ahead and take this motor deck off, pump some air in the tires, which is a fun process, but uh, unfortunately it takes way too long uh, and I can never get it done the right way. But that'll be for another video. All right, so we're heading to the uh, the scrapyard here shortly. I just had to upload my video. Uh, I don't know if you guys use the YouTube app. This is, I think, YouTube Studio for like content creators, but I'm pretty sure the YouTube app is very, very similar. Uh, but I went ahead and just posted my video. If you guys ever like wonder why I might post a video, not at the normal time, whether it be like three o'clock, four o'clock, two o'clock, Eastern time, as opposed to 1230, that is simply because I forget to go into the app and post it, or I'm not home and I don't post it. But most likely or not, it's just, I don't post it on time. Um, but I know the YouTube app is pretty cool. It's pretty neat. Um, I know YouTube itself constantly tells me to create these shorts video. And I think that's because if you use the YouTube app, it comes up as like a video on your feed, uh, similar to like Instagram Reels or TikTok. And I think uh, YouTube wants to compete with those other, uh, other social media platforms. So they're constantly telling me to promote and create shorts which I have no clue what to really do. I think I have two shorts right now on YouTube. It's just not really my forte, especially if you guys don't like use the app itself. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know what really to like make for YouTube shorts. If anyone has any idea on what to make, uh, whether it be like maybe dog videos or, or something along that is essentially like a 15 or 30 second video done with your phone. It's a, it's a different, different kind of art. I'm not really too familiar with it, but if anyone has any suggestions on what you might want to see for that, let me know. I know, uh, to create a 15 second video is not really the amount of work that it takes to create a 15 or 30 minute video. Uh, but something a little bit different. So if you guys use the app, you might be very familiar with it. I am not. Just let me know down below what you guys think. I should probably post with that. Uh, I also found a brass bed in the trash two days ago. I was driving my Jeep. It's actually pretty funny. It was actually with all this stuff, but this stuff wasn't out. It was at the same exact spot. He had, I think this was out. I was like, I can't take that, but he had a brass bed. So I don't know. I'm going to take it in and see what I got. I got a couple other pieces of brass here and this motor. Uh, so we'll see what we get with that. But that, that should be a good pay. I know those brass beds, a lot of the time they're just brass plated, which in that case, they don't give you they don't give you brass price, they give you light iron price. So we'll see what we get with that. And we'll be on to the scrapyard. Maybe we'll be able to buy something. I don't know if they have anything in stock that I'd be interested in. Take out the boogie board. And we'll head over there. Another trip. That boat is still here. Has not moved. During the colder months, they actually close that door. And you gotta go through the side door. And then they put up this like weird tarp. Uh, tarps even up. And if you ever have anything popping out of these shopping carts, it usually falls out, flies everywhere. See what we get for this big brass payout. Most of the weight is actually in this this bed. This thing, thing, this post right here probably weighs three pounds in itself. That's probably what seven dollars, six seven bucks a scrap just for the, the one pole. All right, so not a bad payout. Fifty one dollars. Uh, the yellow brass, thirty eight bucks for all that yellow brass. And that one pool motor I got in the trash last week was uh, $3.78 for just the motor. It weighed a total of 21 pounds. Not a bad find, considering what? That's about a gallon of gas, which gives me about 15 miles maybe in this. I would say a trash picking video gas price, gas price wise, probably cost me like 10 or $12 for each trash picking video for people who might be interested in that. But yeah, 50, uh, $51, $51 total, $38 for the yellow brass, which I bet about 20 bucks of that came from that bed frame. Maybe that would have been a good short, picking up that bed frame. Then again, it's just picking up a bed frame that I found in the trash. All right, so made it up to the lovely warehouse. I did put this frame, this picture over here. I guess it doesn't really even need this wrapping anymore. Yeah, we'll leave it on just so it doesn't get droppings and stuff on it. It's kind of amazing. People probably can make some interesting art out of old art. If you're into painting or painting weird things on the, on the pictures like UFOs or ghosts or whatever it might be it's kind of cool to have something really large like that they can probably do some art with um i do need to make a run to get bubble wrap uh my thought process here was i was going to do columbus one of these weeks columbus is usually on a thursday i've never sold there 
uh, and trying to sell bubble wrap because I saw or I talked to Blue Bus Dave last time I was at Lambertville, and uh, he was mentioning how if I brought literally a whole van load of bubble wrap down to Columbus, I would sell every single roll. Uh, so I did want to try that. The only issue was the total cost for the entire trip between gas um, and uh, the spot there to set up would be a hundred and ten dollars with prices, which prices are where, where they're at right now. I don't think they, I don't think they reduce the price for uh, for selling there during the winter months. And I know gas prices are still up there, so it's about a hundred and ten dollars round trip. The whole trip would cost that, uh, not including the cost of bubble wrap, but um, it might be worth the trip one of these times to just try and experiment it. Uh, but I do need to make a run to grab some more of that. Other than that, uh, yeah, it's been an awesome day, very busy day. Warehouse is kind of filling up here and there. I, like I said, I am bidding on some storage units. I'm still winning as of right now. They end tomorrow morning, so we'll see if we win them. But that's going to wrap it up here for another wonderful day of treasure hunting, another wonderful day at the scrapyard, taking salsa around. I know people asked and requested for more of these daily vlogs. I know they don't get as much traction as my other videos, uh, but what are you going to do in these winter months other than sit around and list things? Yeah, it's been a fun one. Thanks for coming along for another wonderful day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Taco Stack signing off here. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe down below, subscribe down below for some treasure hunts, and I'll catch you guys next time. Next adventure. Who knows what we'll get into. Be something fun. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.